Book. Connected pages. A book in Moodle is a series of connected pages. You can think of it as a mini website or as a manual, as for instance this book on a school Moodle which is a departmental policy document. A book is useful because you can include not only text but links, images, sound and video such as a YouTube video here. Our Teaching with Moodle course uses books for the tutorials and you can see that books have a block called a table of contents showing the different sections or chapters. To add a book to our course we first turn on the editing and then in the section we want to add our book we click add an activity or resource. This brings up Moodle's activity chooser. Book is a resource because learners just read it, they don't interact with it. Clicking the button once gives us information in the right pane about how best to use a book and clicking twice takes us straight to the setup screen. We give our book a name and if needed a description and if we want to display this description on the course page we tick the box. In appearance we can decide how we want the chapters, which some prefer to think of as pages, of our book to be displayed, for example numbered. We can also choose how we want to move around in our book. We could simply have the table of contents and no navigation, or images which are the arrows you see in our teaching with Moodle books here. They are using numbers for chapter formatting. Or you can also choose text. That means the names of each chapters are shown, as you can see again in our departmental policy document, which has no numbering. It's up to you to decide the best one for your learners. When we click Save and Display, we can start adding content to our book. And once we've made one chapter, you can see that its name appears over on the table of contents. We can add another one by clicking the plus icon and then when we've saved a second one you see there's an arrow allowing us to change the order of the chapters. The configure icon lets us do some edits, the bin will delete our chapter and the eye will hide it from students. So we can continue with our book by clicking the plus icon again. Finally, if we click on a book and look at the gear menu we see that it's possible to print books as PDFs something your students might be interested to know.